Welcome to the show called Let's Talk Homeschool, brought to you by Apologia Educational Ministries. This is the show where we talk about everything homeschooling, the who, what, when, where, why, and how. We want to affirm and encourage you in the decision to homeschool, challenge and inspire you to take it to new heights, and celebrate everything along the way in this adventure of a lifetime. Today's show is titled, Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. Okay, so since the beginning of this podcast, uh, this being our sixth season, every quarter on the fifth Monday of the month, we do a devotional. And so we're going to do the same thing today. Today's will be titled Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. But first, I want to let you know that homeschooling moms have been raving about Apologia's new elementary level math curriculum, calling it a total game changer. With hands-on math activities and games, short 30-minute lessons, an open-and-go format, and a suggested four-day work week schedule, your children and you are going to love Apologia's math. One mom said, I think I finally found it. I've been searching for years for the perfect math curriculum, something hands-on that has short lessons and has everything laid out in an easy-to-use format and a parent manual for me. Apology had knocked it out of the park with this one. So many homeschool families have switched to Apology Math after struggling with other curricula and have seen their children become more excited about math for the first time. This February, Apology is running a sale on their incredible elementary math curriculum. Now through February 29th, you can shop Apology as math curriculum and save 25% off. So visit Apologia.com and discover why so many homeschool families are switching to Apologia and exploring creation with math. Here are some of the covers. There's levels one through six. This is the cover for level four. And this is the cover for level three. Again, levels one through six are all available. Go to Apologia.com. And now, Psalm 139 Verse 14 says, I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. So in a well-known passage from Psalm 139, David expresses his utmost admiration for the complexity of the human body. He reflects on the fact that God formed our bodies, intricately weaving frame and flesh into a beautiful form that functions with precision, much of it automatically. Your Heavenly Father knows you intimately, inside and out. He has determined the number of your days, Job 14.5, prepared you for His purposes, Ephesians 2.10, and He watches over your coming and going, Psalm 121, verse 8. He perceives your every thought and knows every word you're going to say before it's on your tongue. When we stop to consider God's omnipresence, and omniscience, and our own physical and mental limitations, sometimes it's too much to take in. And yet, we must meditate on these things because his works are wonderful. As we learn more and more about the human body, the knowledge we gain should bring us to our knees in reverent worship of our Creator. Take your body's circulation system, for instance. Your heart beats 40 million times a year. Every day, moving enough blood to fill a 4,000-gallon tank. It pumps all this life-giving fluid through 75,000 miles of blood vessels, sending nutrients to 26 billion cells in your body while efficiently collecting waste and other byproducts and preparing them for an appropriate exit. Yes, it's safe to say that your cardiovascular system is quite impressive. As David said, fearfully and wonderfully made. Take a closer look at your eyes. Your ears, nose, nerves, bones, lungs, kidneys, liver, brain, muscles, and skin. And you will quickly see that your body is a marvel of design and information. So... Don't abuse your body or use it to sin. Remember, you are not your own. You were bought at a price, and your body is a home and a temple 
of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, glorify God in your body. 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you are my creator. You made me in the secret place. You ordained the time of my birth and eventual time of my death. You know me completely. For this reason, I worship you. I praise you and I love you. Thank you for making my body so efficiently, so remarkably. Thank you for my health and healing. May I always love you with all of my strength and honor you with my entire physical body. Well, as always, it's time to bring this devotional to an end. So thank you for joining us. Again, this is Let's Talk Homeschool, brought to you by Apologia Educational Ministries. And I've been your host today, Davis Carmen. As always, walking by faith and enjoying the homeschooling adventure of a lifetime.